Good morning, myself C. D. Prem Kumar, Assistant Professor from Department of Information Technology, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, going to deliver a lecture on embedded system design. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of inter-process communication mechanisms. So, coming to the inter-process communication mechanisms, mainly the processes needs to communicate with each with each other. in order to share some important informations here the interprocess communication mechanisms are provided by the operating system as a part of the process abstraction in general a process can able to send the communication in one of the two ways one is blocking or non blocking coming to the blocking communication after sending a certain blocking communication the process goes into a waiting state until it receives receives a particular response other side that is a non blocking communication allows the process to continue the execution after sending the communication both types of communications are very useful here we are going to discuss various uh, styles of inter process communications the first is the shared commun memory communication then comes the message passing finally signals so first we are going to discuss about the shared memory communication here two components are used in order to share the communication one is cpu and another one is the input output devices here the software on the cpu is designed to know the address of the shared location the shared location has also been loaded into the proper register of the input output device uh coming to the diagram as we are going to see it in the next slide the cpu wants to send the data to the device so it writes to the shared location then the input output device then reads the data from that particular location so here the read and write operations are standard and it can be encapsulated in a proper procedural interfaces let's have a glance of a shared memory communication that is implemented on a particular bus here there are two important components one is cpu other one is input output device both shares the the data through a shared memory location here the cpu wants to write the data to the particular memory by selecting the address location and finally it intimates the to the input output device to read the certain location so this is how the shared memory communication takes place let's have a detailed view in the forthcoming slide as an application of the shared memory let's consider the situation of the diagram which we have discussed in the previous slide where the cpu on the input output device wants to communicate through a shared memory block then a particular flag tells the cpu when the data from the device is gets ready then the flag uh, puts two different values one is 0 other one is 1 0 indicates the data is not ready one indicates when the data is ready here the cpu for example would write the data and then set the flag location to 1 if the flag is used only by the cpu then the flag can be implemented using a proper standard memory write operation let's consider a scenario the first cpu reads the flag location and sees that it is a zero then the input output device reads the flag location and sees that it is zero then the cpu sets the flag location to 1 and writes the data to the shared location finally the input output device read the data left by the cpu this is how the shared memory location functions coming to the next style that is a message passing here the communication complements the shared memory model there are two different process one and process two uh, there are no uh, intermediate between the two process that is there is no standard uh, shared location uh, the proper message uh, model is implemented on the processor itself so here there are two different units which sends and receives that is it we send unit other one is the receive unit the message is not stored on the communication link but rather at the senders and receiver at the end points in contrast when you compare to the shared memory communication it can be seen as a memory block used as a communication device in which all the data is stored in the communication link or a memory here there are uh, not indicated in a link so here the message passing involves the transfer of data from 
one process to another process. It requires the cooperation of both the sending and receiving processes. The send operations usually require the sending process to specify the data's location, the size and the type and the destination. For example, if a one first browser wants to communicate to the second browser, it has to send uh, uh, information by using the syntax here. Let's see, have the syntax that is send off, another one is receive off. So if a particular process one want to send the information to the process two, it has to use send the receiver, then the message the receiver wants to receive. Similar way, uh, the once the receiver receives the information, it has to acknowledge the sender. So the receiver will send receive uh, which sender the receiver wants to choose, then some message. So this is the proper syntax involved in message passing. So coming to the last style, that is said to be signals. Here, uh, it is a simple because it doesn't pass any data beyond the existence of the signal itself. So if you take the signal, here it is generated by a process and transmitted to another process by the certain OS. Here a UML signal is actually used as a generalization of the unique signal. Let's see some of the use of a UML signal here. That is said to be a signal behavior. So this behavior of the class is, it is responsible for throwing the signal as indicated by send. So this signal behavior sends a signal known as send. Then the signal object is indicated by the signal stereotype. See in the diagram, this signal. So we have come to a conclusion. So we have uh, seen what do you mean, what is uh, the important concept of uh, inter-process communication and what are the various styles involved in inter-process communication. Then we saw the various styles in detail that is uh, shared memory communication then uh, message passing, finally signal. Thank you.